Now, the Roman Forum, it was the centre of the ancient world. It was the centre of the political world, the religious world, the financial world. And actually, the Romans believed it was the centre of the geographical world as well. In fact, in the top right-hand corner of our view, we can see this large brick building with a pointed roof on it. In front of it was still a golden cylinder that came out of the ground about waist height. This was called the Urbis Umbilicum. When I say Umbilicum, what do you guys think of? Umbilical. umbilical cord, perfect. Umbilicum in Latin simply meant belly button. And so Urbis, the earth, umbilicum, belly button, the earth's belly button. You can see they thought they were in the middle of absolutely everything down here. They built all the most important buildings up around it. And in fact, one of the most important that I'm going to describe to us is this very brick building down there. Pointed roof on top and a grated window on the side. That is the Curia. Better known nowadays as the Senate House. It's actually where the hundred senators would meet to decide the fate of the Republic, coming up with incredible laws like we shall not kill without a fair trial, coming out on the roster, this flat platform they had in front, and decreeing these proclamations to the awaiting populace. And this was the most important building in the city yet, in the time of the Republic. When we see the Empire form and the Emperor's coming into power, we can see a distinct power shift uphill here to rest with the Emperors themselves. And this means a decline in importance in the Senate House here. We see less and less senators turning up for work down there, making minor decisions. And it becomes more of just a social centre where people go to relax and enjoy people of their own class. Unfortunately, this is a trend we can see with most of the political buildings down here in the Roman Forum. So for now, what you can look down to its left down there, we have this enormous archway. This is the Arch of Septimus Severus the first and only African emperor out here in Rome. In fact, he was an incredible military general who was elected into power down here. A bit of a pre predecessor, you might say, for Barack Obama. <laughs> but actually, it is the lesser of the three arches that we have down here. So that's really all I'm going to say about it, except to say that behind it down there, we actually have a lovely little salmon-coloured building with, again, a pointed roof on it. That's where the Marmotine prison would have stood. In fact, in the Marmotine prisons, where they kept all the most important political prisoners before execution, two names do shine out as being particularly important. St. Peter and St. Paul, the Apostles of Christ. You guys can still go down there now, into the very cell that they were held in, see the very post that they were tied to. I do recommend this to absolutely everybody. It does have a way of bringing history to life down there, bringing the Bible to life. And of course, it is free as well, which is also absolutely wonderful down there. But once we've had a little look at that, if you guys look down to the left down there, you'll see this enormous colonnaded area. Now, this colonnaded area is the Temple of Saturn. And the Temple of Saturn, well, it was famous and important for two main reasons. It's a bit like this from the front down there. Now the Temple of Saturn. Saturn was one of the most. Uh, well, he was one of the original gods out here. He was always come from the Latin uh, part of the town down here. So he's always come from the area around Rome. So one of, his temple was one of the first to actually be built up out here. In fact, the original dates back to about 500 BC. This, unfortunately, is the remains of the third Temple of Saturn down here. And the first two were actually destroyed by fire. So let's look at a bit more around here. Two seconds, we'll be right back with him. The second reason why this is doubly important, though, down here, is that actually the Temple of, the Sa of Saturn was the home of the treasury. All the accumulated wealth from the ancient world was kept here, with half of it being put aside in case of a Gallic invasion. And the Romans, well, they were always petrified of the Gauls screaming down and taking over the entire city. And so they kept this money aside to pay for a Roman army to fight them off. Worst comes to worst, they would have simply used this money to bribe the Gauls not to invade. This um, only lasted up until the time of Julius Caesar, though, because Julius Caesar, well, he famously pacified Gaul. He made it no longer a threat anymore. So the first thing he did when he came back down to Rome was take half of the money out, saying the Roman people just didn't need it anymore. With this cash, he built up enormous amounts of monuments around the city, threw incredible games for the people and lavish feasts. He actually threw a feast for 22,000 people down here in the Roman Forum. And this, in some, in some small way, might actually account for his absolutely enormous popularity. 
And seeing as we're talking about it, we might wander down to that corner there and have a look at the temple. So guys, what do you think? Is my traveling companion correct? Is our tour guide completely Shut dreamy? I'm so gonna kick your ass. <laughs> She's so gonna kick my ass. Like really gonna kick your ass. Really gonna kick my ass. <laughs> Alright, well, this video is getting pretty long, so I'm gonna end it.